Okay, so now we've got our two uh, surveys loaded into AutoCAD. We want to say get the uh, the volume of this this dig that we've done. So the way of doing that is uh, drawing a 3D polyline to start with. So uh, we're going to make a new layer. We called it 3D Poly. Make it current, and we'll make it yellow so we can see it. Okay, the easiest thing to do here as well is switch off the. Uh, the text. Uh, there is no uh, menu command for this so you just have to type 3D poly enter. Uh, the best way I find to do this, this is really tedious part of this whole exercise, you have to draw 3D polylines, 3D triangles between the points. So the best way I find to do this is uh, to keep one finger on C and you go 1, 2, 3, C to close it and that's drawn a 3D polyline and you just have to do that again so there's right button to repeat 1, 2, 3, C 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 obviously you just keep doing this on and on and on so you've completely drawn the whole thing the polylines you have to check every now and again. If you hover over it, you can see it highlights. So you just make sure you haven't left any gaps. You, know, you can do three triangles around. You have to do the actual gap in the middle. So each one's got to be complete. I'll, uh, I'll save you the tedium of finishing this. I'll pause it. Okay, now I've finished drawing all the, uh, the triangles in. You see it's all filled in with triangles. A right, good idea here is I find to export this out of the drawing so you're not still working with all these other layers if you've got other things switched on you don't have to do that it's also another way because I say I find this so tedious to just save it as this state just in case you make a mistake so to export so I'd go W block just type W block oh, actually sorry I'll skip that we'll isolate it first up on your layers menu you've got this little icon here isolate so pick one of those and all that basically does is it locks all the others so you can't select them so it's only this layer is available so now again once if I type W block uh, select objects I can just put a box around it as I say because all the other layers are locked it's only going to select those give it a name I'll call it excavation triangles save ok so that's the uh, that's done. Once once you've done the excavation, you have to do the same again to the original survey. See, I've drawn all the triangles in already. Same sort of thing. Just draw them all in. I'll just save this as well. So you go to isolate. I'll just wait that layer. And if you notice, they all go dark, and you see they're all locked, so they can't be selected. So once again, it's W block. Select objects, we'll just do that with it. And we'll call this the OGL triangles. Save. Okay. Right. So now I'll open the excavation triangles and the OGL triangles. I'll work just on those. And close the survey. I'll close that survey. Okay, so this is the excavation triangles. Okay, what you need to do now is switch to 3D mode, which is down here. Just it's going to be outside the video view, but if you click this little arrow here, you get go down to 3D modeling. And it switches all your menus. We don't need the tool template, so we'll get rid of that. Okay, so what you need to do is go to mesh modeling. And you go to in the convert mesh, this little icon here is convert to surface. So click that to select everything. What it's done is just put a, a mesh surface on all of the triangles obviously in 3D, so they become 3D planes. 
Now if I go to view, and we'll switch to the, obviously that's the top view, so we just want a side view, so left, left will do. So that's the excavation you can see. So we want to extrude this, now the, obviously the OGL is going to be up here somewhere. So we're going to extrude this up and the OGL down, and you'll see why. If I go home, extrude, so select it all, and then enter, and then down the bottom it's asking for the uh, distance or directional path. Well, normally it would extrude perpendicular to the surface. Well, we don't want it to be perpendicular, we want it to be vertical. So you just go D for direction, enter, click on the screen. Now you have to put F8 on, put F8 when I'm running the video, so just click this ortho mode down here. So I want to extrude that up. But they're all individual triangles, you see if you hover over them. So if you go to this icon, Union. So it's just made it into one solid lump. So if I switch, switch. So that's the the dig, which I extruded up. And this is the OGL. So we go through the same thing again. Go to mesh modeling. Convert to mesh. You see, I left the gap in there, which is easily fixed. I go 3D. Poly. Let's go one, two, three, close, go convert to mesh. There you go, filled in the little hole. Okay, view. That's the left view. And we want to extrude this. Direction. I remember the dig was down below here and we extruded it up so if we extrude this one down so turn F8 on again ortho, so we extrude down so they're all individual triangles still so we'll go union make it one solid mass ok so it's now a solid so give a view so just one big solid. Just one solid. So what I'll do now is if I go home, insert. If I insert, browse the GL triangles. And I'll explode it so it's no longer a block. So it's all in the same drawing look. Oh, didn't want to do that. Switch it back, I need to save it first, didn't I? So it's all one block. Let's now go back. Insert, browse, OGL triangles, explode it. Again, so it's one block. If I go to view again, just to show you what's happening. So this was our OGL, and we've extended it down. This was a dig, and that's gone up. And now the actual volume of the dig is where these two solids overlap. So if I go back to home and use this icon, which is the intersect, and ask you for the intersection of that one and that one. There you go. So what is left? Go view. Put on the orbit. That solid is the volume of the excavation. Let's get the volume. You type mass prop. Enter. Select it. Enter. And there you go. Mass. 2806 807 cube that's how you get a volume out of AutoCAD